So according to a new report, Andy Cohen is out at CNN's New Year's Eve bash after his very embarrassing tirade about the former mayor of New York, Mayor de Blasio. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, this is nothing personal, Andy. I avoided talking about Andy's long tirade about Mayor de Blasio, where he went on and on about how, yeah, you go for your last victory run, you ruined New York City for blah, blah, blah. Oh, don't go on a rant. You hits. Don't go on a rant. Victory lap dance. <laughs> After four years of the, the craziest term as the mayor of New York, the I only thing the that year. Democrats and Republicans can That's agree on I mean, is what a horrible <laughs> mayor he has been. Wow. So, sayonara, sucker. Wow. 2022. I mean, it's a new year. Because guess what? I have a feeling I'm going to be standing right here next year. And you know what? I'm not going to be looking at dancing as the city comes apart. <laughs> Don't go on a. Look, I told y'all from years ago when Mayor de Blasio was hired, I said, oh, I don't feel good about this one. And I didn't even vote for the man after the last election because he was so terrible. We all agree Mayor de Blasio was probably one of the worst mayors of New York City. But here's the thing. Andy Cohen getting drunk on New Year's Eve for CNN has been embarrassing. I'm shocked that people are now reacting to it. Is it because he went after a political figure? Maybe. Maybe. But maybe this was the worst yet. Honestly, I couldn't bear to watch him. I miss Kathy Griffin. You may not like her, but at least she's not getting drunk on national television. Can you imagine if me, as a black man, got drunk on national television? What opportunities would I miss out on? And I know what you guys are going to say. Don Lemon's gotten drunk during New Year's Eve on the show, but has he been as bad as Andy Cohen? Maybe off camera he has. With that being said, now Radar Online is reporting that CNN is so upset by the tirade that Andy Cohen had during their New Year's Eve bash. But not just that, just his behavior in general being drunk. Apparently, they are so embarrassed and, and so are some of the, the CNN staff are embarrassed by Andy's behavior because he's not even a CNN employee. He's an NBC employee. But this is what they're saying. So according to sources, they're saying an insider at CNN, they said, we claim to be the most trusted network in news, and yet CNN hires Andy Cohen to make a fool out of all of us New, Year New Year's performance. They also added this. They said, Andy doesn't even work for CNN, and yet he has been the face of our network for the past 48 hours. It is, it is embarrassing, and real CNN staffers are very angry. But according to NBC, they're not upset about it. You may recall this year's C uh, NBC New Year's Eve bash was hosted by Miley Cyrus, who had a, a wardrobe malfunction. But she 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 bounced back very quickly, along with Pete Davidson. So the, this is what they're allegedly the NBC insiders are saying. They said, what did CNN expect? This is the guy that created the Real Housewives. He interviews reality train wrecks, not world leaders and real newsmakers. Andy works for Bravo's parent company, NBC, but they didn't want him that night. Instead, they went with Miley Cyrus and Pete Davidson. If Andy wants to make a fool of himself on December 31st, better he do it on CNN rather than NBC. I believe that last statement. Why do you think NBC has never asked Andy to host their New Year's Eve bash? And the only reason why they asked Andy to host this bash was uh, on CNN is because his best friend is Anderson Cooper. They are real life best best friends. And the only reason why he got the job was because of the whole backlash that Kathy Griffin received after she posted that very terrible picture. It wasn't even funny. Look, no matter how you feel about the man, that wasn't a funny picture. She's supposed to be a comedian. That wasn't funny. So that's that. Oh, Kathy's been through a lot. Let's not let's not <laughs> drive her through through any more drama in, in regards to that picture that she that she posted. 
But I honestly enjoyed Kathy Moore hosting this with Anderson, being embarrassed, being embarrassed, but she was never dr a drunken mess. And again, I, I say this very boldly. If it was myself, or even if it was Kathy, Kathy Griffin as a woman doing this, they, it would be the first and last. But apparently, this year seems to be different. Apparently, this year, CNN has a conscience. Maybe since they got rid of Chris Cuomo. Maybe they're trying to rebrand with all the drama that's happening behind the scenes. As you know, Andy Cohen took to his social media to say that he was, quote, overserved before the hosting this. Look, I get it. It's New Year's Eve. There are a lot of people drinking, but you are hosting a show that millions of people are seeing. And I know a lot of you are like, I loved it. Andy is me. I agree with him about Mayor de Blasio being a terrible, terrible, terrible mayor. But I'm always, when it comes to, if you're doing a job, I'm the, the co-worker. If I was to go out with you after work, I'm not drinking with you. I'm not getting drunk with you because we're still co-workers. Andy Cohen still has a job to do after he does New Year's Eve. Now you look like a liability. And some of you saying it wasn't just, okay, I'm going to just leave that alone. The streets talk, Andy. Either way, Andy's not going to hurt. See, that's the thing. You can fire Andy from this show and he'll be fine. Kathy Griffin was fired from CNN immediately after that picture and all of everything fell from her. Jobs fell. She lost millions of dollars. And I'm not here to, to, to trope for, for Kathy Griffin. What I'm trying to show you is the hypocrisy and the difference that women, how women are treated in entertainment, how people of color are treated in entertainment, and how Andy Cohen will bounce easily back because he'll just mosey on back over to NBC and continue to host his reality shows and his Watch What Happens Live. Sidebar. It seems as Watch What Happens Live has gotten a new season. Their new season is starting. And they're making some changes over there. And I'm happy to see it. Remember, the rumor on the street is that they may not come back. But they're making some changes over there. Guys, let's continue the conversation below. No, I do not hate Andy Cohen. But when he's a mess, which seems to be often... And I'm also not in Andy Cohen's DMs like you guys are saying the most horrendous things. Goodness. Funny, but horrendous. Shame on you. Guys, let's continue the conversation below. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Happy New Year, and thanks for watching.